What's up guys, Tech Review Tom here. So today in this video, enjoy, we're doing that battery test. Yo, we have the Red Magic 8 S4 Plus and on the right we have the 8 Pro Plus, my guys. So we are doing a few things. We are cranking up the brightness. I'm turning on every single feature and I'm going to go into the settings of each game and I'm going to crank up the max boost settings for the game plugin um, or the game center or uh, whatever the name is for it, game up thing. Anyway, so I'm gonna go into that then do that as well as go into the game settings and turn that up so it's going to be a lot excuse me on power uh, going towards these devices and the result was shocking um i definitely did not mean to <laughs> so as you guys can see we're finally out of the cage that we've been kept in my guy we are in the wonderful and glorious app of runescape we're gonna be playing this for a minute i wanted to show you guys the max settings so we have the diablo mode on the 8 pro being 3.19 gigahertz as the cap with 680 megahertz as the cap for the gpu the other one cpu and the one in the bottom has 3.26 gigahertz for the cpu and 7.19 for the cpu uh you will notice a little bit of difference in performance but as uh of course we are pretty much focusing on uh the performance so yeah and if you guys are wondering maybe why it drains so fast obviously all these settings are very heavy on the battery any other phone is not going to have an option to one lock your processor but also besides locking your processor you literally also are going in and turning up anti-aliasing and atherscopic filtering that's aside from any game you guys saw the little menus so that's that's the difference here and then going into the game and turning on like in this game they have atheroscopic filtering and they have all the things within the actual game itself too so you're pretty much um you're double a up what's already double or essentially and and it's more than double but a lot of it's times eight times 16 things like that so very very high graphical settings which consumes a lot of heat which means a lot of battery drainage so i don't want you guys to sit here and think that the battery sucks i'm literally destroying this battery and not literally ruining it, but what I'm saying by that is I'm draining the battery. And I knew that this would be the fastest way possible because I know when I play this game, the battery just melts. If you're playing literally, even on the high settings in the game without all these extra enhancements, even on just Diablo mode, the battery should be much better. But of course, and this should not be compared with the 8 Pro battery drain that I did a while back. I had different conditions, actually opened more applications and things like that. But of course, the battery health is a little bit different on the 8 pro plus because it's a little bit more worn than the 8s pro plus but then again it is counterbalanced with the heavier processing but something to consider too is there's a there's a better cooling system built in not just the fan but there's actually uh they use a certain metal i don't remember what the metal is but they use a certain metal on the 8s pro plus um that is not ag that is not um available in the 8 pro plus and this metal is very um resistant to heat and dissipates heat very well it's actually the most heat I guess like resistant metal uh, possible so it's very good for uh, having smooth consistent gameplay but as you can see i'm kind of fiddling with the settings i want to give you guys uh, at least uh, uh frame rates i'm saying so on the top you have it on the left side on the right you have it on the right top side and on the top so we can talk about some gameplay as well uh, so i'm pretty much in the tutorial if you haven't played runescape 3 you start on birth or if you've played runescape before but don't know the difference Breathorb is like if you were to head like basically to the middle of the RuneScape map, essentially that's pretty much where it's at. We usually would start out like Lumbridge. It's pretty far from there, but now they start you on Birthorp and there's a lot more to the game than just what that was there before. If you'll notice, even just the difference in the textures on the ground, it looks fantastic. Like look at that guys. That that is really, really awesome. Getting this kind of performance, a literally PC quality or console quality, to be honest, is something that you never saw on phones and you know, being able to just pretty much push these phones like past their limits and get great performance just shows the power of of Red magic phones i'm wondering which versions i have of each phone on the top i have they're both 16 gigs of ram and they're both with the top having the ability to expand to 24 gigs with virtual ram other people are iffy on virtual ram and rest assured it is a lot better than you might think it actually i was reading online and it says that virtual ram is actually allocated just towards graphics processing so what you're doing is you're allowing you know, more space for more graphics to be used you know what i mean essentially 
that's like the simplest way I could put it. So he's like expanding the table and things like that. So VRAM is fantastic. And yeah, there's just a very good reason to want it and have it. Yeah. So yes, my guy, let's see here. So on the 8S Pro Plus, we have that expansion of RAM and on the 8, we just have 16, but just 16 is a kind of a funny thing to say, especially for a phone, but yeah, 16 and 24 and both have the same storage being 512 gigabytes of ROM or uh, storage. And let's see here, you guys know the processor differences, but they basically have the same thing once it's overclocked. So you, you would think that the overclocked processor would just perform way worse. But I, I kind of actually, and not in terms of uh, not in terms of literal performance as it's going to be better, but in terms of battery drainage when put under the same stressful conditions, when it has a better, you know, obviously if it's clock tire, more heat, and then you know, with more heat comes wait for it, blah, 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 I'm saying drills. <laughs> more heat comes faster battery drainage. So especially when they both have a 6,000 milliampere battery, very big battery, but you're going to get better battery life with the 8 Pro um plus versus the 8s pro plus but i would not be too concerned because at the end of this video you will see and it'll basically say that oh, generally they are the same device like there are a few differences in terms of and like they you know it's 30 percent faster but here the 8 pro plus do not worry you, you aren't missing out that much it's not that much different that i do get smoother gameplay on the 8s pro plus but it doesn't mean that the gameplay isn't smooth on the 8 pro plus so i'm going to right here on the bottom as you see i'm running around I'm in uh, Morantoya, which is like this, it's a part in the northeastern part of RuneScape, and I'm going in this kind of dungeon thing. This is pretty much the bottom of the Slayer Tower on the left or right side, on the right side of it. Um, the other ladder goes up right into the Slayer Tower, if you were wondering, with Banshees, they, like, scream at you if you try to run, which is kind of funny. Like, they set it up so if you try to run and you're getting destroyed, you pretty much pop up on the other side and just get destroyed it's fantastic for banshees you need head like you need these earmuffs that they give you because like the noise is so loud it just evaporates your health and it has nothing to do with your armor or anything on so yeah these are banshees obviously they're just they look like tiny versions of i just think these are so cool looking bro these like monsters like the graphics on them just look so freaking good man it's just they're fun to kill i like killing the monsters that look the look the most like obviously like a monster and this thing, it reminds me of a face, a more vicious attack on Titan face. It's like a giant kind of troll-ish, I don't know, body. It just looks like a giant beast. I don't even know names of these beasts. If you're wondering what the things at the bottom drop, and on the, on the top, I'm fighting trolls. Uh, it's part of the tutorial. So yeah, that's what I'm doing, fighting trolls, if you are wondering. Start off RuneScape, but it look, doesn't seem too exciting. Like, it, you know, it's kind of cool fighting trolls, but look at the bottom. Like, look at where you can be, you know, a level 138 eventually. It takes a long time, uh, thousands of hours of gameplay. Being honest, it takes a lot of time. Um, well, I mean, you can actually buy XP in RuneScape 3, so not really. Um, but if you don't want to spend money, it takes all time. Recommend Iron Man mode, even though I'm not on Iron Man mode. On the bottom, uh, if you want the authentic RuneScape gameplay, but I wanted an account where I could go to the Grand Exchange and get these crazy weapons without having to wait for a super rare monster drop. Um, of course, there is the the fun surprise of that, but on the bottom, uh, as you can see, the drops have been okay. But the one thing I really do like about these guys is they drop, this is good for an Iron Man, you need magic equipment. You might want to have somebody essentially with you, maybe. That lets you... Uh, it's so difficult because if you know, slip arc armor is the best you can get for a long time. Um, it's, it's very easy to have, but the problem is you're not really strong enough to kill the monsters that drop the slip arc armor. It's a huge risk. You know what I'm saying? I'm 138 and I'm getting kind of fucked up right now. I'm obviously doing stuff on the top, so that's why. But And they don't look like too vicious when they just hit you with a right slap the entire time. At that point, being 138, um, not actually the max level anymore. 138 was like the max level for literally years. And then uh, times a changed, my guy, which is kind of insane to think about. Like I was saying though, the pickup is split bark armor and that is pretty decent level magic armor that you can get. And you can either do that or you could just wait for a store to restock on split bark pieces and then you can craft the armor yourself, I believe. Or I don't know if it's called split bark pieces. I don't know exactly what the thick fine cloth and split bark. You can do that or you could pretty much just find a way to kill these guys while still getting the armor. Or if you don't really want to do Iron Man, but you still kind of want to go through with that, you can just, you know, follow my advice and get your slip arc armor very easily. They drop a ton of slip arc armor. Very, very useful. And in terms of like, if you've never played this game before, you're looking at it, it's really fun. Like the combat seems pretty simple, but if you click open it and see that World of Warcraft kind of thought, well, this is like, this is not just some slouched like 
copycat game where it's very empty and it's just micro purchases and stuff this game is 21 years old i believe this has so much content it probably has the most content in any game ever there's so much storyline so much lore there's like hundreds of like individually voice quests and it's not just I just go here give this to this guy it, they're really creative they're really fun and they're just random like one of them wizard wants you to get his beads and these little imps have them and you have to race imps these little imps around why don't we have to go and race them around this cauldron until he literally throws up the bead you know what like what <laughs> Like, what kind of, what has this? You know what I mean? Like, what game other than RuneScape would have a quest like that? You have to do it with three more and they all throw the beads. Like, like what? You know what I mean? Like, it's stuff like that. Like, another one is, another one is there's this lady who, like, wants to be you. And she just has no, I guess, like, purpose or identity herself. So she really wants to be you. So she, the way she gets to take on your identity is she is having a party. And you're kind of confused because you don't know at first uh, what's going on or whatever. But she's like, come join Join the party for so-and-so. She's saying, she's speaking about herself in third person, but you're like, oh, a party for me, or whatever, cool. So you put on a hat, you drink the strange drink, and what that does is it literally signs over your identity, like, literally your name, to Ronaldo or whatever her name is. And it's just so stupid. So the whole thing is you trying to get your identity back, you have to trick her to signing in a, a form or whatever. And it's just, it's so stupid. Like, you also have these, <laughs> you get this, you get this like double, double party hat thing that's like pointy on two sides or whatever. And literally it's, dude, it's so funny. Like throughout the quest, they literally will just look at you and be like, oh, and by the way, your hat is stupid. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> it's, I don't know. Stuff like, so like that is so like, like, why would that be in any other game? You know what I mean? And like the thing is RuneScape doesn't take itself seriously. That's like what I love so much. You get a lot of variety too. Like you get this place looking crazy and super dope. And you have places that are just underdeveloped. Like Yano it literally looks like old school RuneScape. It's kind of, I mean, old school RuneScape is fun, but very different game. Um, old school RuneScape is very much like classic experience, obviously. Way more PVP and RuneScape 3, I'd say is PVM. If you don't know what that means, PVP is player versus player. PVM is player versus monster. So with old school, you know, you're going to be uh, fighting each other. They just didn't announce something called like dead man mode. And it looks like it's a full map. I guess you spot a random points, but this dust, I guess, like, or this mist you know, closes you in and essentially you have to kill each other. It's literally like battle royale, but in RuneScape. And like, that's fucking, excuse me, that's friggin' really awesome. And yeah, man, I just, I think that there's just nothing, I don't know, there's nothing, nothing like that. But then, and there's, there's all, and like the PvP in it, you, know, you only hit, like, you only click to hit. But then there's, there's so many, like, weird kind of, like, strategic things you do. Like, you switch out weapons, or you, you know, you have different potions at different times. Like, different spell books you get from different quests. So you use, like, I guess one is, like, Ice Barrage that, like, locks you into place. Then you, like, suck their out. But, like, I mean, it, and you use, it's just, there's a lot to it. And there's, like, different timings. Like, people make music that has, like, the ticks based on when you should hit in your combat. Like, I'm not even joking. They literally timed it based on the, B like, the BPM is timed to the click pace in RuneScape. And it literally gives you uh, a big advantage. If you don't know what I'm doing right here, I'm in the Grand Exchange on the bottom. It's not Birthorp up top. Obviously, the beginning is not very fun. But right here, I'm getting some soupy, soupy. Some super anti-fire. I'm getting a flask because it's six doses. It's a potion that essentially will protect you from dragon fire. If you don't have it, you get destroyed. Um, and it really, really helps out. It's it's like you drain as fast as I was talking about with the banshees. So that's really important then. And then the um I don't I thought I needed anti-poisons, but I might need I might have needed that. Super restore. Super restore restores your stats because some monsters can essentially just drain your stats. That was a uh, like another thing. Um so yeah. But I ended up getting anti-poison because I do believe it does the dragon does does poison you so obviously you are able to clearly i'm paying attention sorry oh but do like a little blue animal thing because of the potential of vacancy they literally went over and charged the building but the building is not and i proved the building that i paid but they don't want the receipts they want proof of they want me to get proof of the fucking wattage used one you don't get that reported to you anyway and two they're gonna fucking have it because how the hell are you what the fucking wattage was uh to charge me if you don't have it yourself if if and it wasn't even billed to me um what the fuck that's just do not do not fuck fuck okay what a shit ass just fuck them fuck trash do not like fuck them <laughs> total bullshit um absolute bullshit 
I'm pissed. It fucking sucks, bro. Literally, so that's in the back of my head. Um, and I'm playing. Y'all, we out here playing RuneScape. Um, back to a lighter topic. But, um, straight up fucking assholes. Um, I mean, they're... Who the fuck's gonna watch this? Your boy. That's who. Um, it's just, it's total fucking bullshit. And... Like, I don't, let me know if you guys have dealt with that bullshit. Let me know if you guys have dealt with rental companies trying to completely take advantage of you. Let me know in the comments if that has ever happened to you. Because it clearly seems to happen a lot. This, you know, this company is so bad, bro, that they... They're gonna, yeah, you know, fucking get mad at me for doxing them. I want doxing them. I'm talking about shit that is in the public because it's happening to me. I can fucking talk about it, right? So, another thing is in the public on their review. Somebody's roof caved in while they were on vacation because of a flood in the upper apartment. And it literally trashed their apartment. One, the company did not call them. Two, they did not, they did not do what they're supposed to, which is provide temporary lodging for the individual with the ruined apartment. Three, they charge them with a vacancy fee of fifteen hundred fucking dollars. What this company does is they essentially try to um, they get you really mad. They get me mad. I think what they do is they just make a bunch of bullshit charges up just to cover other bills um, to tenants that are gone, so they don't have to deal with them face to face. And I, I think they do it because most people will be like, "Yeah, whatever, I'll pay it." Because I guess like apparently if they're trying to attract a high, you know, a high end audience, I guess it's not that much money to them. But fuck you guys, okay? No, I'm not paying your bullshit. I'm gonna take their asses to fucking court, bro. That bitches can fuck off. Like, I don't get pushed around that. You don't fuck with me and my wife, bro. Like, they'll fuck with me and my wife, man. That's the thing. Like, don't let people fuck with you in life, all right? People, there's gonna be a lot of fucking people who are gonna try to come around and pull all this fucking bullshit. And you know, a lot of them think that just because a lot of them were, are relying on the fact nobody looks into it. And then when somebody looks into it, they're all shocked and stunned. And they're saying, oh, with a bunch of, literally, it's a paper trail of excuses to cover the fact that they absolutely just wanted a $1,300 maintenance fee covered. But they won't say that. But why the fuck did a $1,300 maintenance fee with other things in my name? They put three other apartments on there. They're trying to tell me that they did not charge me that. But in order for them to charge me that, they put on, bro, they said shit like sewer fee. Sewer fee. Final sewer fee. Same charge, but they slapped on final in front of it, so they doubled up the charge. What the fuck? Oh, move out fee. Final move out fee. <laughs> like, bro, what the fuck? Like, do they think I'm fucking dumb? Do they think they're... They must, like, fuck landlords, bro. If you do that shit to people, you can go fuck yourself. You don't need to fuck with people you know, trying to... I'm trying to make a living off of YouTube, okay? I'm just starting out. Okay, I need money for cell phones because I do not get cell phones sent to me. Okay, nobody sends me cell phones. All these phones you see, I pay out of pocket for them. The S23 Ultra, the Galaxy Volt, the two Red Magic phones in front of you. That is probably like close to $3,000 worth of phones. That doesn't come easy, bro. That's not fucking free money. It's just, they're almost close to four. God, nothing comes easy. And these, these rental ownership companies just love to milk all they can out of their tenants and they suck them in with the shitty ass millennial gray fucking like they, bro i'm sorry you think you're top shit because you have millennial gray and millennial white in your fucking apartment with granite countertops but it doesn't mean you can charge us three thirteen hundred fucking dollars on the move out well i finally got them to move it down to 768 dollars or 58 but that's their final fee oh that's not the final fee because uh small claims court is uh gonna determine the final fee you fuckers that's what's going to determine that actually thank you I'm pissed. I'm fucking pissed, bro. I don't take that shit. I don't take that shit from anyone, man. Like, these people are fucking assholes. It, it takes... People... People will, will essentially do bullshit like this until enough people stand up for themselves and it, it puts it down. But this company is so full of shit that they literally have something that goes against the Seventh Amendment of the United States. They have something in the rental clause that I did not realize because they were lying in pulse of signatures because the place is nice and obviously I moved did not expect somebody to be this fucking scummy but apparently they exist but literally they have a a thing in the rental agreement that says you do not have right to a trial by jury <sighs> I'm sorry what uh asshole uh, I do uh seventh amendment of uh, the Constitution of the United States of America. Really, the Bill of Fucking Rights, okay? I have the right to a fair trial. And, like, a lot of people, well, it doesn't apply to local... Well, it only apply, applies to natural cases, not local ones. Well, that's bullshit, because when it was written, everything was... It was natural because it was fucking local. Like, 
When that was written, it was small town America. It was already a small area. That's like, that was a counter that people will say, but why would it not apply to every case in the United States? Like what? They can kiss my ass. You fucking assholes. Maybe don't fuck over your tenants, okay? You don't be fucking pieces of shit. Bro, they also had this fucker that literally was like hitting on my wife in my house, who was the main this guy. Like, are you fucking serious? How trash are you? Fuck this, yeah, this comparison's great, but I'm stressed as fuck. And I'm annoyed. And but they can kiss my ass. Uh, nice comparison, but fuck you. Also, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the battery test and my rant about that horrific rental company uh, that you should never be with because uh, they suck.